Our guest on this episode of Fast Five with the Niger Nerds is one of the stars of Netflix's hit anime shows Castlevania and Blood of Zeus. In fact, here's a rundown of a few of my other favorite things I've seen him in. Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Battle Los Angeles, 24, NCIS, Heroes, Lost. His amazing performances go all the way back to his very first movie role at the age of 12 opposite a 13-year-old Joseph Gordon-Levitt in The Great Elephant Escape. Our guest today is Sierra Leonean Creole actor, voice actor, and director Ade Tokumbo McCormack. Niger <laughs> Thanks for being on this show. Thanks for having me. So we got five questions for you. It's a fun thing. We're going to be asking questions about Castlevania. Um, first question. How did you get the role of Isaac? I auditioned for it. <laughs> yeah. Basically, no <laughs> fun story, nothing. No, 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 actually, so no, I got a no call producer my swooped in. <laughs> yeah, I swooped in. I took the role. No. Um, my agent called and was like, hey, there's this interesting project. Um, you know, do you want to take a look? And I was like, sure. And so I read the material and I actually just fell in love with it. I'd never seen a character on you know, an, an animation that was so complex and robust and interesting and multifaceted, especially something that was set in the 1400s. I think Castlevania right. takes place like 1458. And, you know, a lot of the time you see the characters are very stereotypical and, you know, one dimensional. And I was like, this is pretty cool. And I'm, I love language. So um, I just saw this really cool, interesting language that was so poetic and that's, you know, I love stuff like that. So um, I was like, I jumped to the chance to do it. Uh, went in to the audio booth and did the audition. And I was very happy when I got the call saying that I booked it. So what reaction did you face from Castlevania fans over Isaac? And yeah. most people, some people don't know this, being race swapped because the original okay. character in the games was not black or African. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'll be honest with you. There was a lot of backlash. Um, a lot of people hated the idea that he was no longer this redheaded, you know, crazy maniacal white man. And, um, and there was a lot of just awful, awful hate mail and comments and message boards. Mm -hmm. that, you know, I'm not going to go into it and give those people power, but it wasn't very nice. Uh, and what I found interesting, though, was the amount of people who were very positive and gave a positive response to this casting, saying that they felt represented, saying that they felt empowered, saying that they had never seen characters like this before. Um, and, you know, people of color who just were like, yeah, awesome, finally, we made it. And, and so for me, that was the most important thing. But it wasn't only people of color. It was people around the world who were like, oh, we never envisioned this character as being a black man but he's a pretty badass and he's really cool being a black man. And, and they found that the, that fit better, especially the story that, you know, um, that we're trying to tell, uh, they, they felt it worked better for the story. And, um, and so the, I'm, I'm so I'm happy that a lot of the fans got on board and people who are not fans also got on board and, um, and that made me very happy. So. I think that casting added some extra layer of nuance to the character. I will say that I agree with Dr. Jao there. Your characters, the changes they made added a lot of nuance to what could have been a very straightforward, crazy man, you know, and yeah. he's, his you. craziness is hidden. And a lot of that okay. is hidden. When you first see it, you, you can't tell. Yeah, yeah, there's so much to it. And, and I really wanted to make sure that he was multifaceted and bring as much nuance to it as I could. And, uh, and I think it worked, right? <laughs> so. Isaac had a great interaction with the captain on the ship that that was fantastic that entire axis was great and then with miranda the other apparently retired devil ford master and, and <laughs> yeah. so those those seem to offer a glimmer of hope and at the same time kind of squash the hope that he would at some point like humanity so do you think he could ever love humanity again you know that is my hope um <laughs> that's my hope for the character but we'll see you know i'm um, I, I think it's up to humanity to stop effing up, <laughs> you know, for him to love humanity again, to be perfectly honest. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens. If you had not played Isaac, which other character would you have liked to play? Oh, Dracula, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's the boss, you know, uh, best character ever. But, you know, but also I always say that I'm a huge fan. My favorite character in the whole series is Saifa, played by Alejandra Reynoso. Uh, mm. She is such a badass. And, yeah. and, and, you know, in real life, Alejandra is one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet. So, yeah, she's my favorite character. But if I could play a character, it'd be Dracula, for sure. Who would win 
in a fight between Forge Masters Isaac and Hector. Isaac, obviously. <laughs> clearly, like clearly, that. clearly, and and this no isn't God. this isn't us. This isn't me sucking up here. This, I mean, it's it's not even a competition. It's not a competition. I mean, I mean, come on, look at look at look at the two characters. One is, you know? is still a child trying to grow up. The other guy is ri- rising demons on on the fly. Yeah. They, oh, come on, it's, this is boys and men. Yeah, exactly. Right. There's right. no there's no competition. <laughs> 